Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I got on the gear review for you. Now, I got a little different gear review that you're probably not expecting, and this is the newer S Type uh, Speedlight Bracket. Now, I also got the four Speedlight Adapter, and I want to talk about these because I see a lot of questions and stuff on Amazon and other websites asking all sorts of things about these, and I thought I'd clear up a few of those. Okay, well, let me first. Uh, explain this bracket a little bit and talk about it it's a pretty much all plastic construction but don't let that you know steer you the wrong direction this is a very very strong heavy duty plastic matter of fact uh this bracket right here easily holds up my 60 inch octagon softbox with speed lights in it so if you're worried about this not holding up something, don't be. This is actually built really quite well. I know when I first started, I uh, went to buy these and I was researching them. I was like, man, did they get a metal version? Metal version, because you won't expect uh, metal to be stronger. And I guess uh, if you had aluminum version or magnesium version of this, it would be pretty badass and everything, but they don't make them. So don't let that discourage you. This plastic one is actually very strong. Now, before I forget, this is the Bowen's mount. Uh, last time I did check, they do have an Elecrom mount now. So those who have a lot of Elecrom uh, soft boxes and stuff, you're, you're, you're in luck. So I do see Elecrom mount out these days. Now, like I said, it's all plastic. There is some nice rubber inside here. This part is kind of metal, but with a little rubber uh, on the outside of it. Soft rubber in here. Hold your speed light very, very well, and I'll set it up. Basically, what you do is you put your speed light in this way, and you kind of just snug it down. Be careful, don't tighten too much and damage your speed light, because it doesn't take much to hold a speed light in this thing, as I'll show you. Now, I'm going to sit over here on a little stand I st stuck up next to, and I hope it shows up on the camera real well. Yeah, it does. Now, it mounts pretty good. Now, the inner part here that does go on the stand, let me not forget that, is aluminum. So it goes on pretty good, and it's built quite nice. Like I said, I easily hold a 60-inch Octagon softbox with this thing. No problems. I was worried when I first got it. Asked a lot of questions myself on Amazon. And when I actually got the thing in and set it up, I was like, wow, okay, this thing's better than I thought. Now, it's got this like a ratchet type action handle. It's spring-loaded, so you can tighten it up. So... Yeah, you tighten in the spot, it doesn't take much, it stays there until you loosen it. Like I said, Bowen style mount, goes on, twist, locks into place. It's a little loose, but don't worry, it's not coming off. Let me spin it around here so I can show you in the back here. Alright, now in the back right here, you do have a little switch, pull it out, comes loose put it back on no issues generally you take your speed light like I said you slide it up in here let me open mine up just a little bit until so you get your head in about where you want it just run it down do a little finger tight not much at all you don't want to damage your speed light and boom you're good to go works really really well put your speed light in the center awesome okay now let's talk about the one more thing here before I forget, before I go into the uh, four speed light adapter. If you notice through here, this little hole, and through the back, there's a little screw. You can actually put a umbrella on this, which is really great because this, if you put an umbrella on this and want to shoot into it, it actually puts the uh, speed light, the head, closer to the center of the umbrella so you get a nice, more even light coming back. So that's also a plus. This is, you know, said very good. Now, let's get over to that four speed light adapter and put this Bowen's mount back on. All right, now this, for anybody gonna ask, this is a speed ring for use of my soft boxes. These little holes and stuff are where the rods go for a big soft box. I didn't figure you wanted a soft box in the end of it. I figured just showing you the mount would probably be the easiest way. So just in case there's any confusion there. Okay, let's talk about this four speed light adapter. 
Now this is a little accessory you can get with this to add four speed lights to this. So yeah, you can put your softbox on and with four speed lights you can you know, put all of them inside the softbox. Very, very nice when you need a lot of extra power because four speed lights, that's about roughly the equivalent give and take about 360 watt seconds of power. So that's very, very good. Now you slide it in here like this and it has, you know, different screws in here so you can adjust out, you know, depending on your softbox. Mine, pretty much I can go into the last screw hole. Then on the back here, I simply add the other uh, screw to hold it and screw it in. Now I like the little four speed light adapter, but this really could be made a little bit better. It has a twist lock that doesn't always hold, and a lot of people complain when they buy this, the screw's either about to fall out or falls out right after they get it. And that's simply because there was nothing put on the tip of the screw to hold it lock, lock tight. So that's just something, it's not a bad design, it's just bad manufacturing of this design. If they would put Loctite on it, it would be no issues whatsoever. People wouldn't be worried about the uh, screws falling out. So if it does fall off you, you put a little super glue on it or just go buy Loctite at your local hardware store, a little dab of it on the screw, screw it in, you're done. My only real complaint is about this is the way it's actually made. And that is when you put it on, it could hold your speed lights a little bit better. Now you do want to also make sure when you put it on that your screws are not in your way here. Like my particular softbox, it's got the interchangeable ring. Yeah, those can bump it. Don't worry, put a bend. You tighten this up, it doesn't have nothing really to hold it. It's just kind of a friction tight. Not really fun enough. You have to screw this one tight. If this would have been made with at least a little lock, you know, pin uh, hole on this thing, would have been a huge improvement because you have to tighten that up then tighten your speed light down and it's, it's going to stay you don't have to worry about it coming off like i said you can hold up to four on this thing i normally just use two but tighten it off put it on you know turn it make sure it doesn't fall off tighten these down and you're good to go pretty much two speed lights is most you know i really ever need Actually, I don't use that many in the studio at all. But it's nice to have. The only real issue is when you have four speed lights on this, is you can't open the battery doors. <laughs> so you, you go to open the battery, and then boom, it hits another speed light. So if you put, make sure you put fresh batteries in this if you're using four speed lights or have external battery packs. That's my only real issue with this thing. Other than that, I'd like to have had a locking pin on this. It would have been really nice that way you know for sure that your speed lights are secured and not going to fall off. Okay. So, my, like I said, it holds quite well. I think the four speed light adapter is probably just a little overpriced now. Price obviously will be dropping eventually. So if somebody's thinking, man, this pretty cheap buy for a four-speed adapter a year or two after I make this review, you know, give me a little break here. Yeah. Prices do go down on stuff after stuff comes out, but I think I paid almost 10 extra dollars for this little bracket, which is, you know, you know I don't have to say much. It's kind of overpriced if you ask me. But the main bracket itself to hold the speed lights, I'm very pleased with. Uh, I think I paid about $12 for that, maybe 15 well worth it, well worth it. If you're ever worried about uh, not being able to hold your uh, lighting modifiers and stuff, this is a good buy right here. But like I said, it's made of almost all plastic, a little bit of rubber, very, very strong. Very happy with my purchase. Actually own about three of these. So if anybody's interested in purchasing these, of course I will have my Amazon affiliate link down in the description below, just in case anybody wants to read up anybody else's reviews and stuff. But I hope I've answered a few questions about it. Like I said, it can hook up a Bowens mount to this one. They do have an Elecrom also available now. And you can put your umbrella on in case you just want to shoot an umbrella. And uh, so it's very versatile, very handy. 
a little big, but hey, it's strong, it's durable. But anyway, that's my review of it. I hope it's uh, answered any questions anybody might have had about it. I use them, I like them. I use a lot of speed lights, so it fits my you know daily work schedule and stuff. But anyway, that's my review on the newer S-Type bracket. I will say that they're, uh, I'm not sure actually who makes them for newer. Uh, you see a lot of Godox, Saline, and other brands out there all sporting the same exact one. So there's probably some company in China making them, but just find whatever the best price is that you can get on them. I'll link the newer one since this was a newer one. And uh, anyway, I hope this review has been helpful. If you like this review, how about hitting a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe is free, it's for you. I'll let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching. Fail, fail, fail.